Oh shit, he's gonna do the. Mm, mm, mm. Yo, I had no idea that he had this much swag, like that the Skostakli could drop it like it's hot, dance like this. I'm proud of him. Good job. Kamusta, mabuhay, magandang gabi, and welcome back to MGN Diego. Ako po si Ovela, and I really hope that you guys are having a great start of the week. But today we are here to react to a video that's been requested multiple times, okay? And at first I was like, I'm not gonna react to it because I'm pretty sure that this video is gonna be demonetized. So I'm very, very hesitant. So, I will do it, I will react to it, but if YouTube decides to remove some parts so that the video can actually be monetized or even uh, played, you know, published on YouTube, then that's what I'm gonna do. So, if, if there are some weird cuts and editing in uh, my reaction video, it's not my fault, it's because of YouTube, okay? But you all know, you know, that I've reacted to a bunch of Skostakli's videos and performances and that um, I basically, uh, I believe I was the first one to call him the Chris Brown of the Philippines, right? So, yeah, this video uh, came out on the 19th of November, okay? So I was aware of it, all right? But I didn't decide to react to it until today. And then, you know, people kept reacting to it, other channels kept reacting to it, and I see in the title, Chris Brown, Chris Brown, Chris Brown, I was like, whoa, okay, so other people either see it too, or it's been, you know, uh, spread, you know, the fact that I called him the Chris Brown of the Philippines. I don't know. I, I, have, I honestly have no idea. But when I heard him sing, when I saw his fashion style, you know, and everything, I immediately went to Chris Brown. And a lot of people asked me to react to this video because, like, this is uh, Scott Stockley's biggest uh, video ever, or something like that. Like, he put a lot of effort into it, a lot of money into it, or something. And as usual, when we deal with, you know, music and copyrighted music, it's better to record with an external microphone, okay, to avoid copyright claims and all that jazz. All right, let's see what Skosta Klee has in the bag this time around. But before we start, please consider following me on Instagram at Music Game News. And I gotta say, if the dude doesn't dance in this video, I'll be very disappointed because the title says Dance With You. All right, let's get to it. He is feeling himself. I like the colors of the titles. Did you hear it? Flip D on the beat. It was very clear this time around. He's giving me a very Korean vibe here. Okay, wait a minute. See, I had no idea that uh, Skostak Lee could dance. He's got the move. So this reinforces my saying, my comparison to Chris Brown. Nice shot under the rain, but I have to say I'm not enjoying the song as much as his previous ones that he, you know, for example, performed on the Wish Bus. I find the beat very uh, basic. Mm. 
But I like the music video and the dancing. Like this chorus is so basic. Dance with you tonight. Dance, dance, dance with you tonight. Plus, I don't feel like it's mixed properly. Like it's weird. Woo! Yeah, we got some MJ in the house. See, that move, that's MJ, man. MJ has influenced so many generations, man. It's incredible. And every time people ask me, who's your favorite artist ever? You know, I systematically say Michael Jackson. dances with a turtleneck like seriously you're gonna get too hot but i do like the music video man the designs are awesome and the dances are fun hey did you see his hoodie the same color as my beanie It's weird. I just feel like this song like never really picks up. You know, I feel like there's a some type of stagnation. There's no climax. And the chorus to me is underwhelming and the way we transition from the verse to the chorus is just not um, you know, impactful. Hey, hey. But, but, I have to give him this. The fact that he says dance with me tonight like a thousand times is gonna stay in your mind, especially if they play it in the radio everywhere in the malls and all that, you know, it's gonna stay in your mind. And it's so Chris Brown-ish, you know, like there's that Chris Brown identity, not only in his, you know, dancing, the way he dresses, uh, you know, the tattoos everywhere, but also, in the composition of the song, you know, like I can hear Chris Brown right now sing on top of this, you know, like, come on, Scosta, like you gotta stand out a little bit from Chris Brown. Why did they shoot this scene in a very dirty, disgusting looking bathroom? What? Is this supposed to be cool? It actually looks like a scene from a vampire TV show or something, you know? Look, look, it looks like there's blood everywhere or something. <laughs> I like the rapper though. I don't know why, but Tagalog, as soon as I heard Tagalog, uh, someone rap in Tagalog, I immediately liked it because Tagalog, I feel like, really lends itself to hip hop. It's something about the words and the intonations, you know, there's something there. Mm -hmm. 
This scene, you know, under the rain or under the water or whatever, it really reminds me of uh, one of those dance movies, uh, You Got Served or something like that. You know, there was a scene at the end of the movie where they were dancing under the rain to a crazy uh, Timbaland beat that's called, I think, Bounce. It was crazy. So I feel like the inspiration is coming from that. Hey, 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 he gave us some Harlem shake, baby. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> nice. But I do like the colors. I don't understand why they shot it in a dirty bathroom, but I do like the colors, you know, the neon pink and neon blue colors. I had no idea that he had this much swag, like that the Skostakli could drop it like it's hot, dance like this. I'm proud of him, good job. This is my favorite part. This is called the bridge, okay? This is the moment where the beat changes, you know, so that the listener does not get bored, okay? This is a pattern that, you know, artists have been using for ages, okay? And Chris Brown does it pretty well. And he is copying Chris Brown so much, it's crazy, crazy. It's a little too much in my opinion. Yeah, I like the beat here too. Like I like how like it completely changes that bassy, that roar. Mm. Ah, 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 let's go. Ah. Yeah, see, I would have preferred the entire song or in the verses for the drum pattern to be like this, honestly. It sounds much better like this. I don't like the kick, the boring, you know, uh, kick like this in the, in, the, in the verses. I really would have preferred this. And then like it picks up in the chorus. <laughs> Who knew he could drop it like that? Is that Flip D? Please tell me that's Flip D. I'm pretty sure that's Flip D. Why would they show him like that? Behind the scenes, yo. I like the behind the, scene, the behind the scenes. Directed by Titus C. Mmm. 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 Mm. Yeah. Let's go. Mmm. 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 Hey. Oh. All right, there you go. I'm honest. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate because of my honesty. You know, like people always want to hear what they want to hear, okay? If they like that artist, they want you to say that you love it. If you don't like that art, if they don't like that artist, they want to hear that you don't like it, okay? But I'm here to give you my honest opinion and tell you the positive and the negative, okay? So, here it is. The positive. The music video is shot beautifully. I love the colors, okay? I, I'm a little, you know, skeptical about some of the locations, okay? But in the end, the music video is well shot, well directed, okay? It looks beautiful. The dancing is the highlight, okay? I had no idea that Scott Lee could dance, okay? He never really showed it in his music videos, okay? So 
All I knew is that Scott Stockley kind of sounded and looked like Chris Brown, you know, and he had that tendency of singing like him and using autotune like him, but I had no idea that the dude could also dance. I mean, he's not as talented as Chris Brown when it comes to dancing, like Chris Brown is a professional dancer, but he's got swag, okay? He's got it, I, I like the way he dances. <laughs> um, but other than that, like the song is good. It's a good song, you know, I'm not gonna say, oh my God, this is a terrible song, no. But I honestly think he's done better um, the, I honestly think that the part with the bridge and he actually uh, finished the song that way, okay, so it was a bridge and outro. I honestly think it should have been that way, like the, 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 the verses should have had that drum pattern, you know? It should have been slow like that and then in the chorus, pick it up, doop, 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 you know? Uh, it sounded too much like Chris Brown. Like seriously, uh, it's crazy how much it sounded like Chris Brown. Uh, I almost feel like maybe Chris Brown wrote it for him or I don't know, uh, the people that work with Chris Brown contacted Scott Stockley and were like, hey, we got a song for you. Something like that, I don't know. And Yuri Dope, Yuri Dope did his thing. I liked it, you know, he rapped, he sounded just fine, you know, I kind of liked his rap, especially uh, in his portion the beat kind of not slowed down because we still had the kick going hard like that but the rest the instruments around the kick were filtered okay there were no high frequencies which allowed yuri dope's voice to really shine so i really enjoyed that so yeah flip d flip d man i think the the, the verses should have been like the bridge in my opinion that's just my personal taste it's very subjective so there you go. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on this uh, song and music video. And I'm very glad that he danced because it said dance with you. It was really focused on dancing, multiple types of dances, you know, that was awesome, man. Really, really. And the inspiration from one of those uh, dance movies was pretty great, even though I think in the movie it was better shot because it's a movie, you know, bigger budget, but still, this was really nice. So there you have it. Thank you for joining me as usual. Marami, marami, salam, po. I really do appreciate it. Um, take care of yourselves. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video as usual. Peace. Thank you for watching. Subscribe here and please like the video to show your support and appreciation for my work and turn on the notification bell to be poked for future content. Yeah, yeah, yeah.